two fox attacks in just 12 hours has one neighborhood in Situate on high alert tonight. Two women bit, and tonight they're being treated for rabies. Mike LaCrosse is in Situate and spoke with one of the victims. We spoke with one of the victims tonight by phone while she was getting treated for her injuries at the hospital. She says the fox latched onto her leg and wouldn't let go. The animal ended up in my house and I'm pulling, kicking, I can't get it off. Kelly Rogers was letting her dog in the house tonight when she saw an animal in her backyard. Worried about her family's chickens, she tried to scare it away. That's when she says the fox came barreling around the corner right into her home. The kids were screaming. It was just chaos. I couldn't get the thing off of me. I finally, at one point, did get it off. I threw it out the door, and I couldn't get the door closed in time. It came back, latched onto my right arm. She was eventually able to toss it off her deck, called 911, and was taken to the hospital. Rogers was stitched up late tonight and given a rabies shot. She started screaming for me. And uh, she just got a scratch. She's fine. This man's wife was also attacked by the fox. She was scratched by the animal early this morning next to their garage on Tack Factory Pond Drive, but was able to get away. Threw the coffee on the fox and threw the backpack and ran in the house. Situate police are warning residents in the area to be on alert and keep an eye out on their pets. Rogers is just glad the attack wasn't worse. I mean, the dog would have died. The kids didn't get hurt. You know, I'm, I'll deal with my pain. I'm just glad that they're all okay. Rogers tells me she has to get three more rabies shots tomorrow. Meanwhile, Situate police say if you see the fox, to give them a call. Reporting from Situate, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.